Which kind of problem is this now? I came to the kitchen to come and prepare dinner. And I can't find anything in the kitchen. No food. All the food has finished. And if you go and ask Baba to Nana for money now, he will be complaining that he don't have money. I don't have money. I don't have money. Which kind of problem is this? I'm tired of this house. I think I'll be going back to the village. How will I want to enter into the kitchen and there's no rice, there's no beans, there's no anything to cook? I will just go back to the village. I'm tired of this house. Tuna? Tuna? Mommy? Are you calling me? You know you can be prosecuted for that! Are you normal? Are you okay? You heard me calling your names and you still came out and asking me if I called you. Will you come here now before I break your coconut head? Next time, if you try this nonsense with me again, you will see what I'll do to you. Idiot. I'm sorry, mommy. Now, go into your father's room. Tell him that there is no more food in the house. That we need some food stuff so we can eat dinner in the house. Go now. Make sure you tell him that there is no rice, there is no beans, there is no yam, there is no spaghetti, there is nothing, nothing in the house. Tell him to give you some money. That I ordered you, me, I ordered you to collect some money from him so that we can go and buy some food stuffs. Okay, ma. Make sure you explain to him very well, as I just said. Understand? Yes, ma. I will explain to him very well. Good. Go, I'm waiting for you. Can I help you? Mommy said there is no food in the house and that I should come and ask you for money so that we can buy some foodstuffs in the house. Oh my god! You people will not keep me in this house. Ha -ha. Is it every time I must give you people money? You collected money yesterday. You collected money day before yesterday. Every day money, 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 money. What about the money I gave you people to buy foodstuffs last week? I'm asking you, what happened to the foodstuffs you bought? Daddy, it has finished. Okay, it has finished. Then go back to her and tell her I don't have any money to give you people for food. You people will have to wait for next month because I don't have any money to give you people this month. Okay? But Daddy, mommy said you should give me money so I can bring to her. Will you get out of my sight, you this animalistic Nikon poo? Look at these people. They want to give someone high blood pressure. Money today, money tomorrow, money to. Do you want to finish my money? I'm tired of this family. Uh -huh. Where is the money I said you should collect from your father? Daddy said he has no money to give to us. He said we should wait till next month. I know it. I know it. I know that is what he is going to say. I know that is what that man is going to say. That shameless man, come on to feed his family. He can't feed. Anytime we ask for money for food, he will be complaining. He will be complaining that he don't have money. He don't have money. Is it every day that Baba Tuna doesn't have money? If he doesn't get money from the job he's currently doing, he should look for another job. He should stop being a lazy man. He should look for another job and feed his family. What? What kind of nonsense is this? Mommy, calm down. You don't have to insult daddy. If I give you a backhand slap, your coconut head will reset. Look at him. Like father, like son. Anyway, I have already said my own. I won't come and kill myself in this house. I will just gently go back to the village. When I was in the village, there is food, there is fruits, there is everything to eat. 
free of charge. But 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 I, I came to the city to, to, to sit with my family and you guys want to kill me with hunger. This woman, this woman, you don't have to be shouting on this small issue. This is a little issue that we can solve between ourselves, not to be disturbing the neighbors. Don't you know they are, they are, they are arresting? Allow me to shout, allow me to disturb them. How will you keep your wife and son in this house and you refuse to feed them? Is that a good thing? Baba Tuna, I am asking you, is that a good thing? Mama Tuna, calm down. No, I won't calm down. I have to say the truth. I have to say the truth. You can't be treating us like this in this house. Just calm down and listen to me. Good. You know I am a man of accountability. I will ask you some few questions and I want you to give me a very good answer. You have to tell me what happened to the money I gave you last week to buy some foodstuffs into the house. I don't know. If you can't tell me what happened to the money I gave to you last week, or you can't account for the money I gave you last week, then I am not giving you any money this week. Okay, is that what you have to say? Is that how you want it to be done in this house? No problem, Babatuna. I will show you my red eye in this house. I will show you my red eyes in this house. Uh, there is nothing you can do. Mama Tuna, there is nothing you can do in this house. Baba Tuna, it's me and you in this house. I will show you pepper in this house. I have stand on my word. I am not giving you any money in this house. But daddy, what you are doing is not good though. You, you should at least give us small money so that we can eat tonight. If I give you a dirty slap, all your tattoo teeth will disappear from your mouth. Look at him. Animalistic Nikon Poo. A few moments later. Tuna? Yes, mommy. Come here. Take this money, go to the supermarket behind our house, get me a very big and soft agege bread. Okay, ma. Please don't stay long. Okay, ma. I'll be waiting for you. A few moments later. Mommy, this is the bread. Okay. Is the bread soft? Yes, it's very soft. Are you sure? Yes. Now, go over there and sit down and eat the bread. Eat it all till your stomach is filled up. This big bread? That is what I can afford for tonight. Okay? Thank you very much, Mommy. A few moments later. Welcome, Daddy. How are you? I'm fine, Daddy. Good. Mama Tuna, where is my food? Tuna? Yes, ma. Go and give your father his food. Good. 
spoon. Anyway. What? How fast do we have this? It is only a responsible father and husband that deserves to eat dinner at home. Mama Tuna, what is this? That is what you deserve. That is what an irresponsible father and husband deserve. And Baba Tuna, let me tell you something. This is just the beginning. We shall see. What kind of family is this? Welcome back, mommy. Uh -huh. How are you? I'm fine, ma. Good. Tuna? Yes, ma. What kind of movie is this one that you are watching? I'm asking you, what kind of demonic and devilish movie is this that you are watching? Mommy, it's an action movie called Squid Game. What do you mean by an action movie? Can't you see them killing themselves up and down? Yes, mommy, I can see that, but it's just a movie. It's not real. Hey, look at this boy. I am telling you that this movie is demonic and you are telling me jargons. You this boy, when were you born? Have you ever seen witches and wizards before? No ma. Then why are you arguing with me? Don't you know that this baby doll in this movie can be possessed and come and attack us? I'm sorry ma. If you don't want me and you to have problem in this house today, better turn off that TV and go and read your books. Turn off that TV and go and pick up your book and start reading now. Okay, ma. Look at him. Idiot. What kind of thing again is this in this house? Someone cannot just watch a simple movie again. What is wrong with this movie now? This is just a movie. The killing in this movie is just fake. It's not real. And she's shouting demonic, demonic, demonic. I think I should just finish this episode. I won't, I won't turn off the TV now. Let me just finish this episode. Yes. I think I'll finish the episode before she comes back. You know you can be prosecuted for that! Tuna? Why is it that your coconut head don't used to listen to instruction? I told you to stop watching this demonic movie and turn off the television, but you refuse to listen. What is your problem? Mommy, I just wanted to finish this episode. Ah, ah, are you deaf? I said turn off this television and stop watching this movie. It is not good for you. If 
you like, go back and be watching the movie again. You will see what I'll do to you. So now what is going on? Maybe it's because you told me to turn off the Squid Game movie. Will you keep your mouth shut? What? Jesus is Lord! Funke! Apostle will hear of this. You must die! I don't even know which kind of beans uh, Babatu now went to buy for us. Ah, ah, look at stone, stone inside these beans. Good evening, Daddy. Good evening, my son. How are you doing? I'm fine, sir. Good. Baba Tuna, this one that you came to the city room to join us today. Hope there is no problem. There is no problem at all, Lou. It's just that I have a very big news for you people. Big news? Yes, a very big news. Did you finally get the job promotion? No, this is not about the job promotion I told you about the last time. The job promotion is for another day. This is a very important family issue. Okay, so what is the big news about? I don't know how to say this, but I have to tell you people. My brother's daughter is coming to stay with us in this house. Your brother's daughter? Yes. Which of your brother's daughter is that? Talk me. What? Tokwe. I hope you remember Tokwe. Oh, 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 oh. Tokwe? Yes. That beautiful girl? I'm glad you remembered her. She will be coming to this house and she will assist you with many things. Yes. That will even be a very good thing for me because I will finally have someone that can help me in the kitchen. Anyway, I'll be heading to the park now to pick her up. You people should make sure you prepare a very nice food for her. I'll be back soon. Okay, Baba Tuna. Please don't stay long, go. No, I'm not going to stay long. I'll be back in 30 minutes. Okay, we'll be expecting you and talk me. Good. Yee. So finally, Tokwe will come to this house. Eh, uh -huh, mommy. Eh, uh -huh. what is the problem? I am not happy. I will tell you my mind. I am not happy. You are not happy about what? Why will Daddy come and say he will bring someone to stay with us in the house? That's a very bad idea. You know this coronavirus. We can't allow someone else to come and stay in our household. Will you keep short, dear? With your dirty mouth, you're saying, yeah, 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 yeah. Have you been useful in this house? They want to bring someone that can be assisting me in the kitchen, and you are saying you are not happy. Look at his head, like that of a mango. Idiot. Will you go to the kitchen and go and get me cold water for me to drink? A few moments later
Who is here? Mama Tuna, I am back. Come in, come in, come in. Come in. Mama Tuna, your daughter is here. What? Tuna, where is your mother? <laughs> my daughter, daughter, you are finally here. Good evening, Ma. Good evening, my daughter. How are you doing? Fine, Ma. Please and please, from today henceforth, I want you people to give your maximum support to Tokwe. She is a very good girl and I know she will adapt very quickly in this house. Okay? That is not a problem, Babatuna. This is her house. She can do anything she wants. Good. So now I'll be heading back to the office. Please make sure you prepare a very good food for Tokwe. That is not a problem. I am in the kitchen preparing something nice for her. Tokwe, this is your house. You can do what you like. You understand? Tuna? Yes, Daddy. Please, make sure you show Tokwe around the house. No problem, Daddy. I will show her around the house. I will be back later. Okay, Baba Tuna. We will be expecting you. Thank you. Tokwe, Tokwe. Bye-bye, sir. Okay. Eh, uh -huh, Tokwe, how is your father doing? He's fine. He traveled to Ghana. Ghana? What about your mother? How is she doing? She's still in Nigeria. That's good. That's good. You know what, Tokwe? Feel at home. Thank you very much, Ma. You don't have to worry about me. I love the environment. Do anything you want. I'll get you your food. Tuna? Yes, Ma. Don't forget to take her bag inside and show her to the bedroom so that she can take her bed. Okay? No problem, ma. Good. I'll be in the kitchen to rush and prepare your food for you. Thank you very much, ma. Have fun. Hey. What is wrong with this one? Why are you behaving like a lizard? You are calling me a lizard? Yes. Why are you behaving like a lizard? Look at you. Are you talking to me that way? Come and collect my bag. That was the instruction. Come and collect my bag. Anyway, bring the bag. Let me take it inside. Come and carry the bag. Must I come and collect the bag? Yes. If you don't give me the bag, I will continue doing what I'm doing. You. Eh? What did you say? If you leave, I'll come on. Why are you looking at me like that? Collect the bag. Give it to me. Take it. Must I take it myself? Yes, you must take it. Take it. Look at this girl. What is wrong with this girl? What? This is my take territory. And so, I'm here to stay. Take the bag. You are leaving this house. You are not staying in this house. Take the bag. Take it. If not because of Mama, mm. Mama Tuna, I would deal with you here now. Gently! Why all the shouting? Why all the disturbance? Tuna? Tokwe? Why are you people shouting? Anyway, Tuna, take that bag from her and take it inside. And be fast about it. And you two, go inside and go and take your bath. Okay, ma. I'm preparing your food now. Don't allow me to hear any disturbance. Ah, ah. You just be disturbing someone.
get for that? What is all this for? What are you talking about? Why did you change the channel? Because you are watching a boring channel. Don't you have respect? Respect? For who? I can't even see anybody here. What? God. I think this girl don't know me in this house. Do you know why, huh? Do you want to fight me? Yes. Do you want to fight me? Yes. Look at this girl. What is wrong with this girl? Why will you change the channel? Because I don't like what you are watching. Because you don't like what I am watching? Yes. You want me to like what you are watching? Yes, you must like anything I'm watching in this house. What? Remember you just met me in this house. And so? Give me the remote. I won't. Tokpe, give me the remote. I won't. This is it. I won't. Tokpe, don't let me to show you my other side. Show it. I want to see the other side. Show it. Ah. You know you can be prosecuted for that! Tuna? Talk by. Why are you people shouting? It's Tuna that beats me! <laughs> Tuna, is that true? He burned my hand! He not slapped my face! After all that too, he not still hit my head! Hey, whoa. Tuna? Someone that just arrived from the village today? And you have started pressing her neck, bending her hand, hitting her head. Oh, Tuna. Mommy, I did not do that to. Oh. Tuna, you did it. Mm. Mommy, she's lying on my head. You are the one lying. Oh. Mm. Mm. Stop Mommy, lying. Stop lying. You hit my head. You hit my head. Stop lying. You want to injure someone's daughter? Mm. You want people to start saying I have injured someone's daughter? I will show you Pepe in this house. Mommy, I swear she's lying. Mommy. Uh -huh. Good evening. And how was school today? Oh. Mommy, school was so stressful today. Really? Yes, Mommy. Why was it stressful? My teacher asked me to cut the whole grasses in the school compound. Uh -huh. And she even told me to wash all the dirty toilets in the school. Yeah, man. It was so disgusting. What was your offense? Why will she say that she washed the toilet? What is wrong with her? She punished me because I came late to school. You see? You see your life? You see your life? How many times have I warned you to stop going to school late? You won't listen. You won't listen to me. You turn deaf ears. You will be busy watching Netflix, watching movies, playing video games. You won't go to bed to, 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 to sleep. You see, your teacher now has now noticed that you have become a latecomer. Always going to school late. All your mates will be on their bed by 2 a.m. sleeping. But you will be busy playing video games. And that is the reason you are going to school late. That is the reason you are always a late comer. But mommy, that's not true. Close that your dirty mouth. If I hear you say any rubbish there, I will come there and come and give you a dirty slap. How many times have I caught you watching movies around 2 a.m.? How many times? Let me catch you watching any movie late night in this house. You will see what I will do to you. I, 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 idiot, look at his head, like a coconut. Will you get out of my sight and go and look for something else to do?
All your mates will be looking for how their life will be better. You'll be playing video games. You'll be watching movies. How has movies helped you in your life? Or how has video game helped you in your life? Children of nowadays. A few moments later. Oh. oh, I am hungry now. Eh? What will someone eat now? I just come back from the school and she, she did not prepare any food for me. I don't like what mommy is doing to me in this house, Kaskia. I don't like it. Someone will come back from school, no food to eat. She's not treating me very well. prosecuted for that you will move out of this house Tuna what are you doing who said you should touch that Nutella I just came out of my room and I saw it on the fridge so I decided to test it did I put it on your head oh my god hey when did you start arm robbery in this house who taught you how to steal things in this house? You just came back from school and you saw something on the fridge and you took it. How many times have I warned you never to take anything without permission in this house again? How many times? I'm sorry, ma. Sorry for yourself. You want me to show you my other side in this house, Tuna? You know who I am. You know who it's mama, Tuna. If you want me to show you my other side, steal anything again in this house and see what I'll do to you. Look at his head. Like father, like son. Will you drop that thing back into the fridge and get out of my sight? Ah. Can't you come and ask before you take anything? Look at this coconut head. Idiot. public place and it will be stealing. I will show you the in this house, you see what I will do. Six hours later. Okay Musa, thank you so much. The party was lit man. I enjoyed the party so much. And thank you for the gifts. I will take it now. So how should I take it? Okay, I should drink little now. Then I'll take the other one. Tomorrow. Thank you 
you so much for this. I appreciate, man. Let me go and get high. Let me go high, high above the sky. Oh, finally, you this mamoir, I am going to drink you majestically. Oh, I am going to high into the sky. That is coming, that is coming. Tuna, where have you been? I came to the city room the other time, I could not find you. Okay. Yes, I was at my friend's house. Uh huh. Which of your friend is that? Musa, he was teaching me mathematics. Oh, that's good. I am heading to the landlord's place now. I'll be back later. Okay, daddy. God. How fast do we hear of this? Tuna? What are you drinking? I said what are you drinking? Mommy, it is palm wine. Eh? Palm what? Palm wine. Palm wine? Yes. Hey! Oh my God, you! Hey! Tuna, who gave you palm wine? It is Musa that gave me palm wine. How many times have I warned you to stop following Musa? Hey God, what have I done to deserve this boy? What have I done to deserve this problematic boy? Eh? I promise I will never do it again. When I finish dealing with you today, you will pack all your belongings and leave my house. You will pack all your rags and leave my house. Mommy, please forgive me. Forgive you. I can't forgive you for this one. For this one, you must receive the rods of Mama Tuna. I can't forgive you in this case. Understand? There is no place for a drunkard in my house. You get me? Let me even check the time. Three a.m. and I have to go to school tomorrow. Oh, I have to go to school by seven a.m. and this is three a.m. Oh my God! And I did not even sleep. Phone time. Ah. What will I do now? I think I have an idea. Let me just turn off the PS4 first and just go and take a nap.
this theory on like this? How many times will I tell this boy to stop leaving this theory on overnight? Okay. This is 8 a.m. and this boy is not yet ready for school. What is wrong with this tuna? 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 Yes, ma. Come outside now, don't waste my time. Okay, ma, I am coming. Prosecuted for that! Leave the door and come to this place. What is wrong with you? Didn't you check the time? Don't you know that you're supposed to be going to school now? Don't you know that you're already late for school? Yes, ma. I checked the time. And I know I am late for school. Then if you know you are already late for school, why didn't you stand up and get dressed so that you can move to school? What is your problem? The problem is, I am not feeling well. Ah. You are not feeling fine? Yes. What is wrong with you? I have headache. I have body pain. And I also have chest pain. What? <laughs> Try it. So all this is happening to you and you cannot come inside and come and tell me. You cannot come and tell me that this is the problem that you are having. No. I was about to come and tell you. Then I had you knocking my door. So now, that is how you go inside and you die inside and nobody will know. You are feeling headache, body pain. You can't come outside and come and tell your mother that you are not feeling fine so that I can go and get you drugs. Now you know what? Enough of all this noise making. First of all, just move to the couch and rest yourself there. Because the way you are shivering like this, I don't even understand. How past we hear of this? You will move out of this house. Uh -huh. That's good. Just rest your head well. Don't stress yourself that much. So, uh, have you eaten? Ah, uh, so will you like to eat anything? Yes, ma. Just wait for me. I'm coming. Let me go inside the kitchen and get you something to eat. Okay, ma. Okay, I'm coming. Yes! Wow! This idea is working! So now I would go to school today! So today I am going to play FIFA. I am going to play FIFA on my PS4. Yes! I don't want to go to school today. Every day school, 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 school. Not today. Today is video game day. Yes! A few moments later. Uh -huh. The food is ready. We well, are sit up right and take your food. Uh -huh. well, yeah. Take it. Uh -huh. Good. Well, yeah. Start eating. Start eating. Make sure you finish everything. And you see that when you finish eating these beans, you will have energy. Uh -huh. And you will get better. Okay. Uh -huh. Don't worry yourself. Today, you will not do any work in this house. Today is work-free day for you. Just make sure you continue eating. You understand? When you finish eating, you can drop the plates in the kitchen and come back and rest on the chair. Don't do anything. Don't stress yourself, okay? 
let me go inside and get some money so I can go to the chemist in the market to get you some drugs, okay? Okay, ma. I'm coming. Wow. So Mama Tuna actually fell for this trick. Okay. I can't wait for her to go out so I can play FIFA on my PS4. A few moments later. Aha. Uh -huh. Let me go to the market and get you some medicine, okay? Okay, ma. Good. I'll be back soon. Yes. Yes. Wow. Now, after finishing this food, it is game time. PS4, you are going to hear the hits from me today. <laughs> Macamere, Macamere, Belly Jim, Belly Jim, Kisan di Oro, di Oro, di Oro, Ay, 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 Macamere, Macamere, Belly Jim, Belly Jim. A few moments later. Mommy's back. Mommy's back. God. <laughs> Tuna? Mommy, you are back. How is your body? Hope you are doing fine. I am feeling better, ma. Uh, uh -huh, Tuna. I have gotten the medicine for your chest pain and headache. Okay? So you just have to take them now. Take it. Make sure you take them. You will take two in the morning, two in the afternoon, and two in the night. Okay? Uh -huh. Very good. Please don't abuse the drugs. Okay? Okay, ma. And make sure you drink lots of water. I will do that, ma. Let me call Mama Ada. It has been long I called her. Where is my phone? Tuna, I can't find my phone. Maybe you left it at the market. I'm okay. So now I'll be going back to the market because of a phone. You know what? Let me head back to the market and go and get my phone. I'll be back soon, okay? Okay, ma. Uh -huh. Make sure you rest well, okay? I'll be back in an hour time, okay? Okay, ma. Yes. Back to game. I can explain. You want to explain what? Huh? So all this while you are fine and healthy. You just don't want to go to school. That's why you lied to me that you are sick. Mommy, please forgive me. You don't have to beg me. Because after I finish dealing with you today, I will take that PS4 and I will set it on fire. Yes! 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 You will move out of this house.
So you are telling me that this is what this boy has been doing in school? Can you imagine? Okay, no problem, ma. Thank you very much, ma. I will make sure I inform his father about this issue. Okay, ma. I will make sure I come to the school to come and see you on Monday. What? No problem. Thank you very much. Tuna? Yes, ma. Your teacher just called me just now. She said you have been failing all the tests given to you in school. Your teacher also said you don't use to copy notes in class. She said you always play video game on your phone during class period. Mommy, that's not true. She is lying. Will you shut up your mouth? How can you say your teacher is lying? Look at how disrespectful you are. Your teacher that has been teaching you for how many years? You said she is lying. What is wrong with you? Okay, let me ask you. When last have you read your book in this house? I'm asking. When last have you read your books in this house? Always watching movie or playing video game. You don't have anything else to do. Why do you want to waste your life? Can't you see our neighbor's children doing better than you? Can't you see our neighbor's children making their parents proud? You are here busy wasting your time on unnecessary movies. From now on, you will start reading in this house 24 hours a day. I don't want to know how you want to do it. That's none of my business. All I know is that you will read 24 hours a day. Now turn off that television and go and pick up your book and start reading. I don't want to come back and see you sitting down doing nothing. Understand? Yes, ma. And if you want to try me, let me catch you doing something else. Let me catch you not reading your book. You will see what I'll do to you. later uh -huh. this is what I'm talking about now that you are reading your book how do you feel don't you feel good about yourself you just be sitting down wasting your time watching movies Anyway, I am going out now to see a friend. Please make sure you don't stop reading your book. Okay, ma. If you know you have three heads, stop reading your book. Let me come back and find out. You will see what I will do to you. Me, I can't read for 24 hours, so I'm just tired. How can I be reading for 24 hours? I just read for just 2 hours now and I'm tired. Me, I can't, seriously. I think I should just watch my Squid Game movie before she comes back. You know you can be prosecuted for that! Tuna, you this boy, I told you to read your books for 24 hours and you decided to turn on the television after I left the house. If you don't turn off this TV right now, I will come out of this TV to come and show you Pepe. <laughs> what just happened right now? 
How did she do that? Or am I dreaming? I think I should go and continue watching the movie on my laptop. What's wrong with you? I told you to turn off this television and you still went ahead to continue watching the movie on the computer. Are you out of your mind? What is going on? How come she's appearing everywhere in the house? Maybe I should continue watching the movie on my phone. Maybe she won't appear on my phone. You know you can be prosecuted for that! Tuna, why don't you like following instructions? I said you should read your book and you are watching a movie on your phone. Okay. I said you should do something. You decided to disobey me. You decided to disobey me by turning on the television and watching movie on your phone. You thought I would find out. You don't know who I am in this house. Mommy, please. Today, I will show you that you don't disobey an African mother. Her pastor will hear of this. What is wrong with you? Why did you jump out of your sleep like that? Anyway, your teacher just called me just now. She said you don't used to read your books in class. She said you don't used to copy notes in class. What? <laughs> started? Mommy? Have they started? Have they started? Started what? Mommy, the game. Which game? Okay, you haven't heard about the game that is going to be played today? Heard about what again? Oh, I forgot. I thought you love football. I was trying to tell you about the game between Arsenal and Manchester United that is going to be played today. What? What is all this? So is that why you burst into the house as if you are being chased by police? Why will you burst into the house like that? Don't you know I was scared? Don't you know I thought it was a thief that came to attack us in the house? I am sorry mommy. Sorry for yourself, idiot. Next time you try this kind of nonsense with me again in this house, you'll see what I'll do to you. Look at his head, like that of a caterpillar. Chai! Nuisance. Will you go to the kitchen and go and turn off the gas for me? If you allow that food I put in the kitchen burn, you'll see what I'll do to you.
one hour later. Mommy, you are still watching this boring show. It is already time for the Arsenal Manchester United game, and I don't want to miss it. Hey, huh? wonder shall never end. Tuna, when did all this nonsense start? When did I become your mate that you can insult me anyhow? What? Because I am sharing the same TV with you in this house, that gives you the right to talk to me anyhow. No, I did not insult you. I just want to watch my football game. Huh? You did not insult me, so I am deaf. Your mother is deaf. So it is me, Mama Tuna, that is watching a boring TV show. It is me that is watching a boring TV show. No, I did not actually mean that. All I'm trying to say is that the football game I'm trying to watch is coming up in the next 10 minutes and you are still watching your TV show. You are still saying the same thing. You are still repeating yourself, Tuna. No, mommy. Shut up your mouth. Don't you know I am your mother? Oh, because we live in the same house, that gives you the audacity to talk to me anyhow. Tuna. For that reason, you are not watching any football match in this house. I will keep on watching this TV show till tomorrow and nothing is going to happen. You can't do anything. Nothing is going to happen. And if you think what I am doing is not right, go and tell your father. He is inside. Go and tell him to buy you your own personal TV. This TV is for the house and it's general and I control this TV. So there is nothing you can do about it. Okay? Look at him. Like a waste product. Mommy, what you are doing is not good though. It's not good though. It's me, Tuna. Oh my god. You people have come again. Eh? You people have come again. Okay, what is the problem? It's mommy. She refused to allow me to watch a football game. She's watching a TV show. Just go to the city room. I'm coming. I'll meet you in the city room. Just go and wait for me. Okay, daddy. These people will never stop disturbing me in this house. Every time problem, every time complain. Ha! Is it a sin to, to, to marry a wife and give birth to a son? I'm really tired. Anyway, let me go and see what is the problem. Matsuna. 
Mama Tsuna, please allow this boy to watch his football game. Eh, 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 Baba Tuna, you have come again. You have come again with your Wahala in this house. Me, Wahala. How can I be watching my favorite show? And you said I should leave the TV for my own son, Tuna. I should leave the TV for Tuna. Don't you think that is an insult on me? Don't you think so? But it's just a simple football game. Okay, okay, I have heard you. Mama Tuna, I am really, really sorry for disturbing you. But you are supposed to understand that this is just a football match. It will end in 90 minutes. And you can continue watching your TV show. So please, pardon him for just today. Please, allow him to just watch this match today. After today, nobody will disturb you again. Baba Tuna, Baba Tuna, it is because of you. If not because of you, I won't allow this boy to watch this football game. Is he supposed to be watching a football game by this time? Isn't he supposed to be reading his book? You are the one that is spoiling this boy. You are the one that is spoiling this boy. Please. Okay, no problem. He can watch this football game. But immediately he finishes, I will come back to the city room and continue my TV show. Good. I think you have heard what she said, right? Yes, sir. Thank you very much, Matuna. Eh, hey, Tuna. Yes, Daddy. When is Barcelona playing their own football game? It's in two hours' time. Good. I'm going to see my friend now. I'll come back very soon so that I won't miss the game. Okay, Daddy. Please don't spoil anything in the house. Okay? Okay, sir. Good. <laughs> Finally. This TV belongs to me. Channel 21. What? What is wrong with this remote? Why is it not working? What is channel 21 now? Arsenal Manchester United. I will throw away this remote. Why is it not working? I'm tired of this. I've broken the TV. Daddy is going to kill me. Mommy is going to kill me. Tuna? Yes, mommy. What was that? You say? Talk to me. What happened? Nothing happened, no. I was in my room. I heard a sound like a broken glass. What was that? It was the sound of the football game. A sound from the football game? Yes, ma. Okay, then why is the TV turned off? Oh, I was the one that turned it off so that the TV will cool off. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, no problem. Be careful. Make sure you don't spoil anything in the house. You know your father is broke. Okay, ma. Okay, good. Take care. Yeah, God. I'm in big soup. I'm in big soup. What will I do now? Who will I call now? Oh my God. A few moments later. Hey. What will I do now? God. God, help me. I'm in a big mess. If mommy finds out, she will deal with me. If daddy finds out, I'll become homeless. My God. Tuna, I am late. Have they started the Barcelona's game? 
Tuna? Why is the TV switched off? I am talking to you. Why did you switch off the TV? Okay, turn on the TV for me. You will move out of this house. What? Tuna? What is this? What happened to my TV? Daddy, please. Oh my god. Uh, hey! I can explain. I can explain. You can explain. Daddy, please. You broke my TV and said you can explain. Okay, wait for me. Just wait for me, dear. When I come back, you will explain for me. You. You. Run. Where is he? Where is he? Okay. You have run away. You have run away. If you like, go to America today. I must follow you to that America and deal with you. Baba Tuna, where are you going to? Ah, Baba Tuna, why are you running? Why is he running now? Where is Tuna? Tuna has broken the TV. This boy will not kill me in this house. How will I watch my TV show? I must break this boy's head today. I must break his head today. Mama Tuna, this is all your fault. This is all your fault. Why are you accusing me? How is it my fault? Eh, Baba Tuna? How is it my fault? Baba Tuna, I don't like all what you are saying. How will you say it's my fault? Am I the one that said he should break the TV? Talk to me. Tell me, how is it not your fault? Tell me, how is it not your fault? Five years ago, when I told you that this boy, Tuna, should go and join his uncle in America, what did you tell me? What did you tell me then? You refused. You were busy telling me that he is too young, Tuna is too young, he has to learn the African culture, he is too young to go to America. Baba Tuna, why are you saying all this? Is it bad for me to say our son should learn the African culture? Look at it now. Look at it. He has learned the African culture. He is now a destroyer. He has now turned into Conan the Destroyer. Is that the African culture you want him to learn? Is that it? Baba Tuna, wait and listen. Do you know maybe it is not intentional? Do you know maybe it was a mistake that he broke the TV? Which year year mistake is that? I'm asking you, which year year mistake is that? Has Tuna ever done any mistake in this house? This is not a mistake. He deliberately broke my TV. He did it intentional. And I will not take it lightly with him in this house. If Tuna mistakenly set his foot in this house, I will squeeze him, I will break him into pieces. Uh -uh. Baba Tuna? Uh -huh. You want to injure him? Don't you know he's your son? And so what? See? Let me tell you something. I am really angry right now. I don't care if he's my son. All I know is that I want to see a new TV in this house. And that is final. Baba Tuna, you have to take it easy. Anyway, anything you feel like to do, do it. My own is that if anything happens to my son Tuna, I will just call the police. Sharp, sharp, I will call the police, 911, and they'll come and pick you up. That's my own way. I've been begging you since you don't want to listen. Is it not ordinary TV? What if he collapsed the house? What will you do? This man, this man, this man. People want me not to marry him. He don't listen to advice. He has blocked head. Anyway, 
I'll call the police. They have said my own. If anything happens to my son, I will call the police. Simple. A few moments later. What will I do now? Why will I repair the TV? I'm scared. I think the best solution for me now is just to run away from this house. I need to leave this house now. A few moments later. Hey, stop there. Where do you think you are going to? I am asking you, where are you going to? And why are you carrying your bag? Now, move away from the door. <laughs> Mommy, please. I said, move away from the door. Sit down. What? <laughs> Mommy, please. <laughs> now tell me, why did you damage your father's television? Mommy, I swear to God, it was a mistake. I never meant to, to break the TV screen. I was just trying to make the TV remote to work. And the devil now pushed my hand to throw the remote to the TV. That's how it broke. I swear I did not do it. It was a mistake. That's tragic. And you are in a very big problem right now. And now, at the moment, if your father set his eyes on you, you are finished. Mommy, please, if that is the case, allow me to go in peace. Please, daddy will kill me. No, I can't do that. 
It is very late right now. And it is very dangerous out there. I don't want something to happen to you. Let me go. Just stay calm. I will look for another way to solve this issue. I'm currently thinking of what to do right now. <laughs> you are finally back. Tuna? <laughs> you don't know me. Baba Tuna, please, please, take it easy with this boy. Please. No, Mama Tuna, don't tell me that. Don't even tell me that. This boy. Baba Tuna, let us look for another way to settle this matter. Please, Baba Tuna. Please. No, don't tell me anything. I will settle this my own way, okay? I told you to wait for me. Before I came back, you ran away. You ran outside. That is offense number one. TV that I worked very hard for. I worked tirelessly inside the rain, inside the hot sun to buy. You broke the TV screen. That is offense number two. And lastly, for the past 15 years, I have never missed a Barcelona game. I always watch a Barcelona game. You broke my TV and you allowed me to miss my Barcelona game. Offense number three. For that case, you are finished in this house. You are finished. After I have descended on you, you will learn to use your brain. You will learn to use your coconut head to think very well so that you will act like a human being. Daddy, please. Daddy, please. It was a mistake. Forgive this boy, Babatuna. He won't do it again. Please, Daddy, please. Please. Since I have been watching the movie, I have never seen a movie so interesting like this movie. This movie is talking so much about me, about my situation right now. I think it is right time I confess my love to Latifa. I need to tell her how I feel about her. Yes, I need to do it. This movie is moving me right now. It's making me to feel so much love for my crush Latifa. Welcome, mommy. Uh huh. How are you? I'm fine, ma. What of your father? Okay, daddy. He's in his room sleeping. Good. Okay. You know you can be prosecuted for that. Tuna? Yes, mommy. What type of movie is this that you are watching? When did you start watching this type of movie in this house? Mommy, there is nothing bad in this movie. The movie said 18 and above and I am above 18 so I can watch it. And so, even if the movie is above 18, you don't have the right to be watching this kind of movie in this house. When I was at your age, I was still watching cartoon. But mommy, we are in a civilized world now. A big boy like me don't watch cartoon. Will you keep quiet, dear? We are in a civilized world. What do you know about civilized world? You are watching a love movie. What do you know about love? As young as you are. What do you know about love? So you have started chasing all those small, small girls all around in your school. Eh? Is that what you have been doing? You know what? Turn off that TV and go inside your room and go and get your books and start reading now. If you don't want me to deal with you before I get back from inside, I want to meet you reading your book now. Look at his head. Will you go? Ha, small boy, look at what he's watching. Look at his head, like coconuts. Idiot! Let me come back and catch you watching any love love movie again in this house. You will see what I'll do to you. Ha! -ha. Children of nowadays. A few
moments later. I don't know, I don't even know what is wrong with our African parents. They just like treating us like a kid. Am I a kid? I'm above 18. I can watch love movies. What is the problem with watching a, a love movie? The movie said 18 plus. Why will you say I should off it? I don't like what Mama Tuna is doing to me in this house. You say I should read. Is it every time someone will be reading his book? Is it every time? Every day? Read your book. Read your book. Read your book. Me, I'm tired. Me, I'm tired. I don't think I can continue reading this book. I'm just reading this book. It's just entering my head and coming out of this place. I think I, will, I should just write down my love letter to Latifa. Dear Latifa, ever since I have seen you in my school, dear Latifa, you are the sugar in my tea, the cocoa in my cupboard. Coach in my cupboard. You know you can be prosecuted for that. Okay, ma. Thank you for calling. Don't worry yourself. I will inform his father about the issue. Thank you. This boy called to now. This boy every time problem, every time trouble. How will you be going to school and you won't be copying notes in class? What kind of a, of a child are you? I'm tired of this boy. Jesus is Lord! Chai! I pass to hear of this. Tuna? What's all this? Why did you litter the floor with sheet of papers? Eh? No, mommy. I was just solving mathematics. On these rough papers. You are solving mathematics. What kind of nonsense mathematics is that? Let me even see what you are solving. Mommy, I swear it's just my mathematics rough work. Nothing else. Give it to me. Tuna, you are writing a love letter to a girl called Latifa. Mommy, please, I'm sorry. Hey, this boy have killed me, oh. Tuna. Mommy, please. But you told me you are solving mathematics. So you lied to me, this boy. Oh yeah, kneel down there. I said kneel down. Ha. Look at this boy. Writing a love letter to a girl. You are finished in this house today. You are finished in this house. Mommy, please. No, don't beg me. Oh. Mommy, please, I'm sorry. Your sorry will not solve anything. When I saw you watching a, a love movie, I was suspecting something. I knew you were up to something. I knew it. Huh? No wonder. Your teacher called me just now. She called me just now that you don't have exercise books in school. That you don't copy notes in school. And I was about to come and tell you. That was when I saw sheet of paper so this is what you are using your exercise books to do you are using them to write love letters to little little girls small small girls under 12 under 13 no mommy your father must hear about this mommy please don't allow daddy to know about this mm -mm. nothing will stop me from telling your father about this mommy please i'm begging you will you raise up your hand and close your eyes oh my god ah, ah. what kind of thing is this in this house you people cannot allow someone to sleep and rest in this house. Eh? Is it a sin for me to have a wife and a son in this house? I decided to rest at home today because of stress of work yesterday. But no, you people did not allow me to sleep. I'm talking now, nobody is answering me. Thank God you can witness what this coconut-headed boy is doing to me in this house. Thank God you can see how he is stressing me in this house. Eh, uh, I understand. But that doesn't mean you people will not allow me to sleep and rest in this house. Mama, tonight, you know I don't like all these kind of things. Okay. Ha. Funke! 
Mama Tuna, what is all this sheet of papers on the floor? What happened? Are you asking me? Ask your son. Ask Tuna, not me. Tuna, why did you litter the floor with sheet of papers? Um, anyway, since he can't tell you what he did, when I came back from the market, I caught him watching a love movie. So I told him to up the TV and go back to his room to go and pick up his book so he can start reading. Before I go in and come out, I caught him again, red-handed. He was writing a love letter to a girl called Latifa. You see what this your, your coconut-headed son is doing in this house? He does not study in school anymore. His teacher just called me. Just now, she told me this boy don't used to copy notes in, in class. He don't used to attend classes. He's always outside chasing girls up and down. You will move out of this house. Daddy, please, I can explain. I must teach you the lesson of your life. Baba Tuna, please, just take it easy. Mama Tuna, don't disturb me. He's always missing the ball. Good evening, Daddy. Good evening. Where are you coming from? I say, tell me where are you coming from? You will move out of this house. I am coming from my friend's house. Which of your friend is that? Musa. You this boy, after all what your mother has told you, you still, you still, you still went ahead and disobey her. Why do you love disobeying your mother and I in this house? But daddy, I did not disobey you. All I did is just to visit my friends. That's all. Will you shut up your dirty mouth? How many times has your mother warned you never to go near that boy called Musa? You refuse to listen to what we are telling you. You this boy, you always claim to have a blockhead. Don't you know that boy called Musa is a bad boy? Daddy, Musa is a very good friend of mine. I don't think he is a bad boy. Okay, now tell me, what is your own definition of a bad boy. I think bad is bad, good is good. Look at what is coming out of your mouth. Okay, let me tell you something that you don't know. The other day, I saw Musa and some group of boys smoking behind our house. So now you see the reason why I said I don't want you to move around to that boy called Musa? I don't want him to influence you into doing bad things. Now that you know the reason why I want you to stay away from him, you just need to be careful. Okay? Okay, daddy. Good. You can go inside your room now. Which kind of life is this one? I am tired of mom and dad in this house. They are just too overprotective of me. I am an adult for God's sake. They should allow me to do whatever I like. <laughs> I can't even go out and play with my friends. They will be complaining. You should take, be careful. You should be this. You should be that. I'm really tired of all these things in this house. What kind of, what kind of nonsense is this one? I think I'll just look for my money and leave this house for them. I'll go and get my own house. A few moments later. What a pity. And I saw this boy yesterday. 
No, I need to inform Tuna. Where is Tuna? Tuna? Where is Tuna? Tuna? Where is this boy? Let me check it. Tuna? Yes, mommy? Come to the sitting room. There is something I want to tell you. Okay, ma'am, come in. It's mommy calling. Mommy, what is wrong? Sit down. Mommy, talk to me. What is the problem? Tuna, something bad has just happened. Something bad as how? Our landlord's son is dead. What? What happened to him? You know he was a chronic smoker. So he died of lung disease. Oh my God. Yes. I just spoke to him last night. Can you imagine a very young boy who has a bright future? He just killed himself. That is why I am warning you to stay away from friends that smoke. You should stay away from all those area boys. Stay away from Musa and his friends. And you know that smokers are liable to die young. That is why I am warning you every day. Please, Tuna, don't put me to shame. His parent has been warning him to stop smoking. He refused to listen to them. Now look at what he has caused for himself. An innocent poor boy. Now he's gone. That is how life is. When they tell you people to listen to your parents, you will refuse. Now you see where our landlord's son has taken himself to. Because of smoking. Anyway, I want to go to their house now and console the mother. You can go inside. That's why we have warned this younger generation. They should stay away from drugs and all this kind of intoxicants. They won't listen. They won't listen. When you are saying something, they will say African parents are too harsh. African parents are too this, are too that. Now look at young innocent boy has just killed himself. Anyway, me, I will continue saying my own. Not forget anything. Okay. Go and come back. A few moments later. All this one that mommy is saying, she's just wasting her time. I will smoke and nothing's going to happen. Now that I am home alone, I can do whatever I like. I will drink. And I will smoke, and nobody's gonna hold me responsible. You know you can be prosecuted for that! She said someone died because of 
heart or liver or, 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 or lungs disease. My lungs is a iron lungs and nothing's going to happen to me. I have a iron lungs. Cause I'm a ganja planter, come in the ganja farmer, put in the egg in the putty ganja. Ooh, I'm a ganja farmer. Will you keep quiet? Oh my god. I will smoke and nothing's gonna happen. What? Let me quickly finish this up before mommy comes back. How about we hear of this? Yeah. Woo! Cause I'm a ganja planter. Call me the ganja farmer. <laughs> Ooh. What are you doing? Mommy, it was a mistake. You are smoking? In my house? Mommy, please. After all I have told you about smoking and how it is bad for your health. Some moment ago I just told you that our landlord's son is dead because of damaged lungs from smoking. You this boy, you have a blocked head. You did not listen to what I was saying. Mommy, please forgive me. This is my first time. After I am done with you, in your life, you will never disobey me again. Mommy, please forgive me. Guys, please don't forget to subscribe, like and share with your friends. <laughs>